Here, I just had a first situation. Maybe she, mm, my anxiety, because I still haven't heard from her. Maybe I should see if she blocked me or not. I, I just don't, I'm getting ghosted. Maybe a financial situation came up. I'm just so flabbergasted. It's never happened in my life. What? I booked a bride back in the spring. She's having a wedding tomorrow. It's Tuesday. She paid the booking fee right away. It took her a while to sign the contract, which was a little weird to me. I wasn't really too concerned. It was a Tuesday. I'm like relaxed about weekday weddings. She eventually signed the contract. Seven people, including her for hair and makeup, I was gonna bring along a second stylist. Maybe about two weeks ago, she emails me, lets me know that the bridesmaids have decided they're going to do their own hair. So if we could adjust the contract, I'm usually relaxed about this stuff, but when I'm bringing along a second stylist, like I need to touch base with my second stylist first before I can give you a definite yes or no. Touch base with her, totally fine. Immediately emailed her back. I was like, hey, just touch base with her. It's no problem. So then the invoice due date comes. She never responds to the email. I still need the address of like where you're getting ready. So I know where to go. She never responds. The due date comes up. You can send a reminder and you can see if they've opened it. I sent it and she opened it. Technically I have a late fee where it's like after a 24 hour grease period, it's $25 a day. I've never in my life charged a late fee. So I was like, hey, this is due two days ago. Can you please have your invoice paid by the end of the day tomorrow? I emailed her again yesterday on Sunday and I was like, hey, I really need the getting ready address and payment in order to do your wedding. Can you please get that to me ASAP? Nothing. When I tell you my anxiety, because I still haven't heard from her, I'm getting ghosted. I, I just don't, like I, if I find you, maybe a financial situation came up. May, I don't know, I'm like, did I do something wrong? Do you not want me there? If you don't want me there, that's fine, just tell me. I know we do contracts, but like, I'm not a psychopath either. I'm a human and I understand things happen. So I'm just so flabbergasted. Maybe she, mm, maybe I should see if she blocked me or not. I feel like I've heard of hairstylists and make, or like wedding vendors. I've definitely heard of hairstylists and makeup artists ghosting brides, but I've never heard of a bride within two weeks ghosting a wedding vendor. really sympathize with her you know because I don't know if she works within a business but this is at the end of the day this is her job and I think if you've booked someone you've got to remember self-employed people they do rely on you like if you cancel you've really damaged their wages um you know I don't know how much it was but let's say for example it was like two thousand dollars to do the hair and makeup and you've only paid a hundred dollar booking fee you still owe her $1,900 and that could be rent, that could be food, that could be sh life insurance for them. You know, that is a lot of money gone and you don't even have the decency to respond. I think it's really low, it's really rude. And it does really reflect who you are as a person. And it is really upsetting, I think as well, I can tell she's a bit of an overthinker, this lady. So, you know, she could be something thinking, oh my God, I'm really bad. You know, maybe she's just been too kind, like when I did her hair and makeup and she was too shy to say anything. But why would she still keep talking to her? And then when it came to payment, they were like ghosting her. And I wish, yeah, she so can just be honest and be like, I'm really sorry, I just can't afford you. The only thing I can afford is just to do my makeup. That's literally it. And she seemed like a decent woman and she could be like, okay, that's completely fine. I'll have to charge you for like the delay response, but of course we can make that work. For, like. I don't know, $300, just for example. It's just really low, I think it's quite pathetic that if you have the decency to go and see this person, get your hair and makeup done, tell them all the things you want, and this person, you know, she could have cancelled other jobs as well, there could have been like loads of other brides or like events that could have wanted her, she's like, no, I'm sorry, I've got a, like a wedding booked that day, I'm really busy, I've got to do like child and get all the makeup ordered and stuff, like I can't, sorry. And now she's lost loads of things because of this bride. And yeah, I don't know. I just I don't know how it works with like makeup. My sister used to be a makeup artist, so I don't know how it works. But independent makeup artists like this lady, I don't know if they have to pay for the makeup before um, they get paid and then rely on that. But I don't know. I don't know how that works. But I just think it's really low and really silly.